it's another day with our re Redeemer and Savior, King of all the earth. Woo! Let's worship the living God. You guys hammered down yesterday, Psalm 24. The King of glory walked into the Supreme Court. <laughs> Woo! I was super blessed by that. A couple friends contacted me and said, what were you guys doing? I said, plowing hard ground with worship and intercession. Because our worship is a melody. Our intercession wins the battle. Yeah. I said our worship is a melody. Oh, my melody is a warfare. Implement my intercession. Changes things on the face of the earth, Lord. Ah. Oh, yeah. My praise is a weapon. My melody is a weapon. Yeah. Come on, somebody praise the living God, the living God. My praise is a weapon. My melody is a weapon for you, Lord, as we worship and pray. We'll do some more today. We're on Psalm 50. We didn't do this in the first 91 days. I went, wow. March, June. March, April, May, June, and July. Well, wow, how did I not do? So we're going to be touching Psalm 50 today. So powerful. Offer to God thanksgiving and pay your vows. For the mighty one is spoken from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same. The king of glory and the king of justice. Check it out. That's what I had before we started the stream. Jesus. Your justice rules and reigns forever. Jesus, your justice rules and reigns forever. Yeah, I cried out, Jesus. Your justice rules and reigns forever. Rules and reigns forever, Jesus. Your justice rules and reigns forever. Na 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 na. Yeah. King of justice and glory. Your mercy tells the story of this great salvation you give this great salvation that you have given us and for all the world jesus king of justice and glory your mercy tells the story of such a great salvation release all over this earth, my God, yeah. Oh, released in the name, in the name, in the name, in the name of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, worship the Lord with me, yeah. Worship the Lord with me, yeah. Yeah, man, I need to see I can, the shares if I can. Spirit of the Lord, come on, Spirit of the Lord, yeah, uh, 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 yeah, oh my God, yeah, lift your hands and worship, we feel the power of your presence, Lord, yeah, yeah, we're on the front lines with your glory, we're on the front lines with your glory, we're on the front lines with your presence, hallelujah, your justice rules and reigns forever Jesus your justice rules for rules and reigns forever sing it out oh Jesus 
Your justice rules and reigns forever. Come on. We put it out there in the atmosphere. We sing it. It brings atmospheric change. Yeah. You're changing hearts with your justice, Lord. With your justice. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Your justice rules and reigns forever. Come on, do that again. Something is breaking through in the moment. Yeah, we said, Jesus, your justice rules and reigns forever. Rules and reigns forever. Yeah, Jesus, your justice rules and reigns forever. justice and glory, Lord, and your mercy tells the story of this great salvation, Jesus, King of justice and glory. Your mercy tells us about the story of this great salvation. We're going to do the whole thing again. Just hang with me. Stay with me. Jesus, your justice rules and reigns forever. Reigns forever. Jesus, your justice rules and reigns forever. Justice rules and reigns for no man, no committee of men or women can stop your justice, God. Jesus, your justice rules and reigns forever. Rules and reigns forever. Jesus, King of justice and glory. Your mercy tells the story of this great salvation. Your great salvation, Lord, for all the nations, for all the nations here. Jesus, King of justice and glory. Your mercy tells the story of this great salvation for the nations, Jesus, King of justice and glory. Your mercy tells this, it tells us of this great salvation that belongs and is spreading out over every nation, Lord, every nation. We thank you, Lord, that you're the King of justice and glory. The King of justice and glory in the name, in the name, in the name. Ah, 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 yeah. And here we go in the name of Jesus. I brought Ariel Mariah's song, Carla Lavish. I'm doing the song. This is my youngest daughter wrote this. Oh, my God. And we're just going to sit at his feet and then kick it up strong. We're going to pray as we go through Psalm 50 today. Out of Zion is the perfection of beauty. Woo, my God. She, she wrote this and We've never gotten over it, and I don't want to. She said, oh, wonderful, wonderful, this is what you are, this is what you are, <laughs> radiant, radiant. You're brighter than the stars, Gloria, Gloria. 
Wonderful, 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 and this is what you are, radiant, Brighter than the stars, glorious, glorious, and we call you beautiful God, merciful King. I lay the risen lamb who's worthy of all I can give of my beautiful God beautiful God merciful King I lay my life at your feet your the Holy, 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 all of heaven sings, and all of heaven sings, worthy, worthy. So deserving, Lord, and so deserving righteousness, righteousness. We call you beautiful, God, merciful. Lord, to 
to say how you are worthy of all my praise. Come on, sing it out. Yeah, I'm here again, giving you my life and my heart again today. And I'm here to say, I'm here to say you're worthy of all my praise. Yeah. Oh, I give you my life and my heart right here again today. And I'm here to say you're worthy of all my praise. And then Ariel wrote one of the coolest bridges. I break my vial of worship over you. I lavish my love on. Come on, join up, go deep. I'm just a sinner holding only this perfume. I have an alabaster box. I lavish my love on you. Check it. And I bring my vial of worship over you, Lord. I, I lavish my love on you. Just a sinner holding only this perfume. I lavish. I lavish my love on Come on, do it again. I break my vow. Yeah, I break my vial the worship over you. I lavish my love only, only you, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A sinner holding only this perfume. Yeah, I lavish my love on you. I lavish my, I lavish, I lavish my love on you. I lavish my love. This is our place to jump out of the box and begin to worship. Lavish my love on you, my costly, my costly perfume. I lavish my love, I lavish my love on you. I lavish my love, oh, and I pour out my costly perfume. I lavish my love, yeah, on you, Lord, yeah. I lavish my love. Come on, keep going. What a day, what a day, what a day. I lavish my love on you, Lord. Yeah. I lavish my love on you. Yeah. I lavish my love on you, Lord. I lavish my love. The song should be well over, but it's not yet. I guess that's like a second bridge or a tag. I gladly waste my love on you. <laughs> it's so good. i 
my love on you, Lord. Every last drop, every last drop of my perfume. Do it again, I gladly wait. tag in a minute, but I got to tell you, I, I've had, it's either Luke 10 or Luke 16. It's so powerful. The woman with the alabaster vial or box of perfume, the, and the disciples, she came in and crashed the party and the disciples got ticked off. They were at Simon the leper's house. Think about this. They were at Simon the leper's house. He got healed. Jesus healed them. And Simon and Martha were the only two people in the New Testament. Jesus, come to my house. <laughs> Either out of great love or just boldness or both, they said, Jesus, we want you to come to our house. And he went to Martha's house where Mary sat at his feet. And then he went to Simon the leper's house. He's healed now. The disciples are, are so, they're having their own little party. And this woman crashed in out of the extravagant, the abundant love for the Savior, her extravagant worship, she couldn't help her. So she walked up to Jesus as he's reclining at table, which was against kind of Eastern tradition. It could have weird or sexual overtones. Don't approach a man reclining at table. It was a short table he was eating at. But she anointed his head. She anointed his feet. And then her tears, oh, her tears and her hair and the disciples I wanted to punch them I'm being I said they said why this waste you foolish woman we could have sold this perfume for a high price and given the money to the poor don't make me come over there you disciples they just beheld what I know to be in the New Testament you check it yourself the most extravagant act of worship ever performed unto Jesus in his earthly ministry as the Son of God. And we know it's true because he said, what you saw this woman do, no one else anointed me when I came in this house, but she's actually anointed me for my burial, my death and my... Uh, uh, wow. You never know when your act of extravagant worship is going to touch somebody else's heart that's hard or that's hurting or broken. Your extravagant acts of worship will change nations. It'll change cities. It'll change, it'll change hundreds of people. Our extravagant act of devotion and adoration to Jesus. Wow, Kent, that's really good sharing. <laughs> yeah, I actually know a few things at my age now. 
but I want to sing it again because why this waste? They, they called her a name. They called her a foolish woman. Some of them go even further than that. Wow. Why this waste? Well, because we're wasting as much time as we can, however you... And I asked the Lord, keep listening. I asked the Lord, I said, God, how could they, God the Father or the Lord Jesus, I said, how could they watch this extravagant act of worship, the woman with the alabaster vial or box, which was probably her costly grandmother's perfume heirloom, which was worth a lot of money. And that's all they could say, you foolish woman. We could have sold this and given the money to the poor. And here's what, what the Lord said, listen to me. He said, can spectators, will never be on the same wavelength as participants. Yeah, I'll say, thanks. Yeah, I'll share it again, sure. I'll say it again. I said, how, Lord, how did they watch this lady? The abundant overflow of her love for you caused her to come and pour this oil on your head and your feet, her tears and his hair, and anoint you. And the disciples, he said, well, because participants will always be different than spectators. People that participate are in the flow and they're going to get the blessing. If you're a spectator, it ain't going to happen. He says, spectators are never on the same wavelength as participants. Woo! It'll preach. I know. That's why I'm sharing it. Mike Woods. Wow. Say that again. I just did, Mike. <laughs> Oh, man, uh, Debbie Schwab gave seven hearts for Ariel's song. So we're going to, as Ariel said in her tag, this song is called Lavish. It's on her album. Is it on one of mine as well? Lavish? Forever Worthy, the Destiny album. Oh, that, I got you, man. Okay. But this is a song we have recorded. It's, it's on her first or oh, no, it's on her second album, right? Among the Branches. <laughs> So you can go digitally download it, buy it, purchase it, or whatever. But she said, I gladly waste my love on you. Every last drop of my perfume. making Ken Henry laugh out loud. She goes, Matt, yes, this is why I worship on the front row of our church so I don't have to look at the spectators. <laughs> come on, come on, Peggy. I'm trying to have a meeting here. <laughs> I'm right with you, but here we go again, everybody. I gladly waste my love, my love on you, Lord. drop, Lord. Every last drop of my perfume. Do it again. I gladly waste. And I gladly waste my love on you. Every last drop of my perfume. Every last drop of my perfume, Jesus, you're the one found worthy. 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 You're the one found worthy, yeah. You're the one found worthy, yeah. You're the one, you're the one found worthy, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, found worthy, found worthy, yeah. yeah. We gladly wait our love 
and we pour out our perfume on you, Lord. And then now, then yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. 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 Come on, that chorus, beautiful God. Psalm 50, and I'm not sure it's Lubwana Derek. I don't know if it's inverted, but I want to say hey to Uganda, Africa today. My, this is my continent. I prayed for Africa pretty much since I've been spirit filled. I believe the song of Africa is going to come forth and touch every nation. The song, there's a song of heaven in Africa. The song of heaven will come forth. From Af- the song of Africa with heaven's base on it is going to touch every tribe, tongue, and nation in the name of Jesus. But Psalm 50, get your Bibles. And again, we did 91 days straight starting March 19th all the way through March, April, May June. into June. Yeah. And then we got struck with COVID. <laughs> but we came Just back. We're still alive. For a brief period. <laughs> yeah. But we've kept going. We're doing uh, living psalms where this is a narration of multiple translations of this same verse as we go through. And many of you have been along for the ride. If you're brand new, we've got probably a hundred of them. And now we're doing in the words of Jesus, which I'm personally really digging big time. In the words, red letter Bible. We do like, well, probably 12 to 17 verses at a time of what Jesus was speaking. And it's been really powerful and rich for sure. So Psalm 50, Carla, tell me the title and read the Keystone Scriptures. Well, first of all, (coughs) 
I just want to say that Kent and I are mourning and rejoicing at the same time. A dear friend of ours, Bishop Harry Jackson from Baltimore, went to be with Jesus yesterday, way prematurely. Well, it feels that way. Yeah. He was a... Um, he was a, one of Trump's main advisors. Anyway, we haven't seen him in a couple of years, but still. And then yesterday, I don't know if, if you weren't on, we we lost uh, Margie Pennington as well the day before that. So We really loved so, it because she got on and she says, listen, am I playing my trumpet or my oboe today? I mean, she was playing multiple instruments. But you guys, people home with the Lord, I, I am struck with Harry that what does it all mean? Well, his days were in, in a book and so are yours and mine and Carla's. But uh, I want to pray for his church. He has a very powerful church. I think it's yeah, a couple thousand people yeah, in Baltimore. It's there in Baltimore, right. So for the incoming pastor or Pastor Ed, I don't know if it's a man or a woman. But it's a, an African-American-based church. It's mixed with Hispanics and whites and Latinos as well. But, but anyway, we, we, we really do need just to hold them up at their leadership team. I think it was pretty sudden and unexpected. It seemed like it. We hadn't heard anything. Uh, and the other thing is tomorrow morning, I don't know if you've gotten learned about this or not, but on 11-11 at 11 o'clock in the morning... If you can congregate with with uh, fellow believers, find out if there's anything going on in your area where they're lining the streets, and then everyone taps into a prayer that will be pulled up on your phone at exactly 11 o'clock. So there'll be millions of believers around the world, or at least around this nation, that will be praying uni universally at the same time. Yeah, these uh, are just, it could be gatherings of eight or 10 or 12 people yeah, on streets. Yeah, it's how many ever, yeah, yeah how many ever you want to do. Tell them what it is. Just yeah. find a place, like I'm, I'm going to be tomorrow at the Wildwood Town Center in Wildwood, Missouri, and I'll, on the street, on this, there's a walkway that goes all the way around uh, that Wildwood Town Center and across Manchester Road. So if there, anybody's out there that wants to join us, we'll be there at 11 o'clock. Just take a little time out of your day. Join with believers, and, and um, we'll have a corporate expression of the fear of the Lord. And, and part of it, by the way, just so everybody knows, the election is not declared. It's not over. Uh, I mean, I've, I've heard some people kind of mourning. I go, wait a minute. The, no one, the, the electoral college, those votes have not been certified. So Carl and I are being very clear. I was a pre-law major, and I used to study this stuff when I was younger. And even Mike Pompeo was on today, and he said, hey, guess what? Um, we're not transitioning anything because they're still counting votes, and they're uncounting votes, which is even more important. They found a guy... <clears throat> in Michigan who said, I, I uh, threw away as many Trump votes as came by me. He, he's on record. So th this is not over. Everybody, remember yesterday we said the King of Glory was walking into the Supreme Court. I haven't heard exactly. the final. But this is not over, you guys. So keep believing God. And uh, we're standing in Jesus' name. Uh, we're, we're not having an, uh, you know uh, illegal votes counting when uh, really there's super questions in four or five states right now. Plus, they're in Wisconsin and Georgia are within the range. They have to recount the whole thing. So you guys, you get what I'm saying? I want to see hearts and, fl and thumbs flying here. Do you guys hear what I'm saying? They, you got to keep right. This is not over yet. I don't believe Trump's lost the election by any means. Not yet. It's not declared anyway. Not by media. Media does not declare an election. So Chris would ask, how, how do we join you tomorrow? It would be whatever is in your local area. Find out, you know, if there are some believers that are gathering together. Even if you grab your, just your family and go out on your street and do it, it's, um, it's kind of a symbolic uh, yeah, outdoors. joining of We can attempt hands. to put that up yeah. to just via the phone if you want. Do what? If you want to live stream your thing, we could think about doing that on, the, on a cell phone or whatever. Okay. Uh, We'll, we'll see. We'll talk is, about is it. Is there a, a one uh, website they go to that know what did, how to do it? <coughs> Who is that? What is that? Or do you know? I'd have to look it up. It's okay. 
Well, we can post it later tonight and stuff. You yeah, know. we can post it on the yeah. show notes. But I love it. It's 11-11 because Matt 11, and Carla, 11. they see 11-11 at morning and night. I, I don't really see it that often. But they look up, it's 11-11, which this is the 11th hour. I mean, many people say, hey, we're not that far away from the Lord coming back. I mean, three, five, ten years. Of course, nobody knows the time. Uh, the exact time and, and stuff and but you can know the season that you're going to get a knowing in your heart but let's just press into the lord and and live full out for jesus and holiness that yeah, was good and the other thing that's cool about tomorrow 11 11 2020 what <laughs> it is our grandson matt's son jace's 11th birthday tomorrow on 11 11 2020 and by the way they chose his name he's the healing warrior jace joshua think about it we, we need a bunch of healing warriors running all over america we'll, we'll we'll draft down on jace's name i am a healing warrior i believe that part of that uh is what what god wants us to be the healing warriors all over the land on the day he was born kent was in israel on mount carmel <laughs> And they blew the shofars <laughs> over his birth, over the tallit and the yarmulke they bought for him. And we Kent a, was in, in the delivery room with Taryn on the phone when all the rest of us phone. were standing outside waiting to find out what was going on. And by the way, uh, I'd gotten a baby tallit in Jerusalem. I didn't know they had them. And the Kirk goes, oh, they have baby tallits. you got to get one. We'll, we'll anoint it for Jesus. He said, a baby tallit, which is the prayer shawl of the Israelis, at least those who serve Jehovah. Yeah. <laughs> so he still has a baby tallit, yeah. and we need to get out and pray on his birthday. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be right. awesome. Let's go. Psalm 50, Carla Ray. Okay. Uh, um, mm. Highlighted scriptures are 1, 10, 14. And 15, which we'll go over. I'm just going to go ahead and start because it's this is a long, pretty long psalm. One of the longest we've done in a while. <clears throat> psalm 50, verse 1. The Mighty One, God the Lord, has spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun to its going down. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty God will shine forth. Our God shall come and shall not keep silent. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very tempestuous all around him. The mighty God, the eternal, God of past, present, and future, has spoken over the world, calling together all things from sunrise to sunset. From Zion, that perfectly beautiful holy place, shines the radiance of God. Our God will come and he will not enter on a whisper. A fire will devour the earth before him. The wind will storm wildly about him. Wow, wow. From Zion, perfect and peerless in beauty. God has sent out his light. The God of gods is flashing. Oh my God. God is shining forth. And the passion says, the God of gods, the mighty Lord himself has spoken. He shouts out over all the earth, all the people of the earth, in every brilliant sunrise and every beautiful sunset, saying, listen to me. God's glory light shines out of the Zion realm with the radiance of perfect beauty. With the rumble of thunder he approaches, he will not be silent, for he comes with an ear-splitting sound. All around him are furious flames of fire, and preceding him is the dazzling blaze of his glory. <laughs> that should have a sailor. From out of Zion, perfect and peerless beauty. For out of Zion, perfect and peerless beauty, God is sending out His light. The God of gods is flashing. Yeah. Out of Zion, perfect and peerless in beauty. Out of Zion, perfect and peerless in 
beauty our God is shining forth. He's sending out his light, sending out, God is sending out his light, I said. From Zion, perfect and peerless in beauty. From out of Zion, perfect and peerless in beauty, our God is shining forth. Our God is sending out his light. Out of Jerusalem, Zion, perfect and peerless in beauty. Hear what I'm saying. Out of Zion, in the eternal city, it's a peerless and perfect beauty. Yeah, by the Son of God, Messiah, reign. Yeah. Out of Zion in Jerusalem is perfect and peerless in beauty. I said perfect and peerless in beauty. Our God is shining forth. The God of gods is flashing. Yeah, our God is sending out his light. God is shining forth. Perfect in beauty, perfect in beauty. Our God is shining forth. The Lord is shining out his light. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together to me. And he said, here's the saints, those who've made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Let the heavens declare his righteousness. For God himself is the judge. He calls heaven above and earth below to assist in bringing judgment on his people. Whoa. Gather up those who are aligned with me. Check that phrase. Gather up those who are aligned with me and bring them to me. Bring everyone who belongs to me who has made covenant sacrifice. And the heavens shout of his justice for he is a true God and an honest judge. Hear this, this is the voice translation. And the heavens shout of his justice, for he is the true God and an honest judge. He has come to judge his people. To heaven and earth he shouts, gather together my own, my own people who by their sacrifice upon my altar woo, have promised to obey me. All right. God will judge them with complete fairness. For all heaven declares that he is just. That's the living Bible. And then we close with the Passion Translation. How we love the Passion Translation. Here is he. Here he comes to judge his people. He summons his court with heaven and earth as his jury saying, gather all my lovers, my godly ones, whose hearts are one with me, those who have entered into my holy covenant because they made sacrifices on my altar. Ooh. And the heavens declare his justice. God himself will be their judge, and he will judge them with righteousness. And we say la for a minute, because God let the fear of the Lord be on our whole nation. Selah, let the instruments play. He is a fair judge. He will judge all of his. He's calling all of his people. Wow. Now verses 7 and 8 with Carla. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, and I will testify against you. I am God, your God. I will not rebuke you for your sacrifices or your burnt offerings, which are continually before me. Listen, my people, I have something to say. O Israel, my testimony comes against you. I am God, your God. I am not going to scold you because of your sacrifices. Your burnt offerings are always before me. 
O my people, listen, for I am your God. Listen to my charges against you. I have no complaint about the sacrifices you bring to my altar, for you bring them regularly. But it isn't sacrificial bullocks and goats that I really want from you. Listen to me, O my people. Listen well, for I am your God. Wow. Wow. I am bringing you wow. to trial, and here wow. are my charges. Oh my God. I do not rebuke you for your sacrifices, which you continually bring to my altar. What I really want from you isn't sacrificial bullocks or goats. I want your true thanksgiving. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. What the Lord has been saying all along. What I really want from you is your true thanksgiving. What I really want from you is your heart of thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. I don't need your sacrifices, but I want your true heart of true worship in thanksgiving. Oh my God, that's right. All along I just wanted, I wanted your heart with true thanksgiving all I wanted was your heart a heart full of true thanksgiving all I really wanted was a heart of true thanksgiving and here we are even as New Testament believers today verses 9, 10, and 11 he said, I will not take a bull from your house, nor goats out of your folds. Here it is, this famous scripture. For every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle on a thousand hills. This is the context. I mean, use it in the faith movement. Use it in the restoration. I don't care. But for every beast of the forest, is I, I do not need your bulls or your goats out of your flocks. Because he said... I own the cattle on a thousand hills. Somebody say hip, hip, hooray, <laughs> hallelujah. I own the cattle. On, this is where, this is the context. Verse 10, Psalm 50. He said, I know all the birds of the mountains and the wild beasts of the fields. They are mine. I will not accept the best bull from your fields or your goats from your meadows. For they're already mine. They are already mine, just as the forest bees and the cattle grazing over a thousand hills are mine. Uh, yeah, just get that in your spirit, sweet Jesus. And the cattle grazing over a thousand hills, they're all mine anyway. Every bird flying over the mountains, I know. Hear it again. He said, every bird flying over the mountains, I know the birds. Every animal roaming over the fields belongs to me. Do I need your young bulls or goats from your fields as if I were hungry? Every animal of the field and forest belongs to me anyway. I'm the creator. I know every movement of the birds in the sky. This does my heart so much good, you guys. I know the movement of all the birds in the sky and every animal of the field is in my thoughts. The entire world and everything in it belongs to me. Well, the entire world, everything in it belongs to you. It is yours, yeah. Well, the entire world and everything in it belongs to you, belongs to you, Lord, yeah. the entire world and everything in it belongs to you, Lord, and it does my heart good to know, this does my heart good to know, yeah, here we go, well, you own the cattle on a thousand hills, 
the grazing cattle all are yours. They belong to thee, you said they are mine. There, you own the cattle on a thousand hills. Yeah, you own the cattle on a thousand hills. They are yours, Lord. They are, oh, does my heart so much good to sing it today. Psalm 50, verse 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, do it again. Oh. Will you own the cattle on a thousand hills? They are yours, Lord. They are yours, Lord. Yes, you own the cattle on a thousand hills. They're all. You said they are mine. I believe it, Lord. They are mine. You own the cattle on a thousand hills. Just let it sweep through your spirit, man, and your heart and your mind. You, and when he needs to sell a couple, he'll do that. And he'll provide money for taxes, money for whatever you need. He said, I own the cattle on a thousand hills. They are mine. Woo! I own the cattle on a thousand hills. They are mine. Beautiful God. Come on. Yes, I own the cattle on a thousand hills. They are mine. And we believe your word. Here we go. Verse 12, 13 and 14. If I were hungry, I would not tell you. For the world is mine in all its fullness. Will I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? I would not come to you if I were hungry, for the world and all it contains are mine. Do you really think I eat bull meat or drink goat's blood? If I were hungry, do you think I would tell you? For all that I have created, the fullness of the earth is mine. Am I fed by your sacrifices? Of course not. Offer to God thanksgiving and pay your vows to the Most High. Set out a sacrifice I can accept. Your thankfulness. Be true to your word to the Most High. No, I don't need your sacrifices of flesh and blood. What I want from you is your true thanks. I want your promises fulfilled. Why don't you bring me the sacrifices I desire? Bring me your true and sincere thanks and show your gratitude by keeping your promises to me, the Most High. And this is what he said. Bring me your trust. Bring me your sincere thanksgiving. saying he said bring me your true 
and sincere thanksgiving to me. Yeah. Bring me your true and sincere thanksgiving. Bring me your true and sincere thanksgiving to me. Wow. Yes, Lord. Everybody say yes, Lord. Dun, 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 dun. Bring me your true and sincere thanksgiving. Bring it all to me. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Bring me your true. Bring me your true and sincere thanksgiving to me. Go ahead. Call upon me in the day of just single singular verse 15. I love this verse. Get this now. Call upon me in your day of trouble, and I will deliver you. And guess what? After that, you'll glorify me. I, I love the whole perspective of this simple, simple, it's a simple, short little verse. But he said, if you call upon me in the day of trouble, I'll deliver you. And then you're going to go ahead and glorify me because you trusted me. When you're in trouble, call for me. That's like a parent, isn't it? It's like our heavenly father. When you're in trouble, call for me. I will come. I will rescue you and you will honor me. Because of rescue, he said you'll honor me. I want you to trust me in your times of trouble. Okay, Lord. I want you to trust me in your times of trouble. Okay, Lord. He said, trust me. So I can rescue you and you can give me glory. Wow. So I can rescue you and you will give me glory. And further, the spurl in the New English Bible says, in the day of your distresses. Wow. Wow. Here we go. In the day of your distresses, call upon me and I will come to your rescue. That's like a song lyric. It's like, you know, a lover's song. I will, I will come and rescue. I'll come to your rescue. I know they wrote a song years ago out of hills like that. You will come and I will come to your rescue. I love that. So in the day of your distresses, Call upon me, and I will come to your rescue, says the Lord. And the Passion finishes, single verse 15, Psalm 50. Honor me by trusting in me in your day of trouble. Honor me by trusting in me during your day of trouble. And cry aloud to me. I will be there to rescue you to rescue you. I will be there. I will be there. I'll be right there to rescue you. I will be there. I'll be right there to rescue you. And I will be there to rescue you. And I will be there. Thank you, Lord, to rescue you. Put your trust in me, and I will rescue you in your day of trouble. Put your trust in me. I will rescue you, and I will be there. I'll be right there to rescue you. I will be there. To rescue you, I will be right there. I will be right there. I am the rescue God. Lord, you are my rescue God. You are my rescue God. Sing it with me. You are my rescue God. my rescue God. I love that. We love this, Lord. You are my rescue God. 
verses 16 and 17. And the significance of the verses we're about to read, you know, based on what we're about to do tomorrow. Jesus. Robert Brondell brought this up, that tomorrow on 11 11 2020 is the 400th anniversary of something that happened on 11 11 16 20 and that was the mayflower compact oh my god the pilgrims came over here for religious freedom and liberty and that's what they claimed this land for they claimed this land for god so that we could be free to worship god and to serve him and to obey him and to follow his ordinances. Hallelujah. This is what the pilgrims did in their declaration of the Mayflower Compact. You know, some would say, oh, um, the Europeans coming over here were terrible to the Indians. Well, I got to tell you a little story. We have some Indian friends in Kansas, the Bear, the Bear Sisters. Sisters. <laughs> and I asked, actually, I, we asked Raylene about that. Are, are, you know, because they're believers, you know, in Jesus. And she said, no, we're not bitter at all. She says, as a matter of fact, if the Europeans hadn't come, we would have never heard the gospel. And so those Native Americans that are believers in Jesus are that, grateful. That, that really helped me a year ago yeah, when I it, met them. It was, it really she helped goes, if too. the white man had not come, and by the way, Raylene, it's Lori and Michi, Michelle. Michelle. Um, she was the top medicine woman in Kansas, dude. She got rid of her junk. She told me, she told me some stuff that'll blow your mind. But she said, "Oh no, Kent, it's really good that the white man came. We would have probably never heard the gospel." And that released me because the trail of tears and the trail of death in Oklahoma uh, really tore happened. me up. Yeah, yes. the slavery terrible thing, all happened. that. But, but they don't she see said, it that no, way. We gotta, we gotta. She said, "We're moving out of victim mentality into exactly. serving, being the victorious exactly. conquerors of exactly. the Lord." So now, tomorrow, on, this day, on that day tomorrow, we're going to stand in the face of secular society that would like to ram things down the throat oh, yeah. of, the, of the church and to say, this is how you're going to be, and this is what, and we're saying this because this is what God wants us to do. I've heard Nancy Pelosi say we're doing God's work. Okay, we're going to read this now. This is what God says. Verses 16 through yeah. 19. Oh, but man. to the wicked, God says, What right have you to declare my statutes or take my covenant in your mouth, seeing you hate instruction and cast my words behind you? Oh, my God. When you saw a thief, you consented with him and have been a partaker with adulterers. You give your mouth to evil and your tongue frames deceit. But to those acting against him, God says, Who do you think you are? Listing off my laws? Acting as if your life is in alignment with my ways? For it's clear that you despise my guidance. You throw my wise words over your shoulder. You play with thieves? Spend your time with adulterers? Evil runs out of your mouth, and your tongue is wrapped in deceit. And now I speak to the wicked. Listen to what I have to say to you. What right do you have to presume to speak for me and claim my covenant promises as yours? For you hated my instruction and disregarded my words, throwing them away as worthless. You forgot you forget to condemn the thief or adulterer. You are their friend running alongside them into darkness. The sins of your mouth multiply evil. We're going to go right into 20 and 21 because 23 just tops off Psalm 50 so powerfully. You sit and speak against your brother. You slander your own mother's son. These things you've done, and I kept silent. You thought that I was altogether like you. Oh, my God. But I will rebuke you. 
I'll set them in order before your eyes. You sit back and gossip about your brother. You slander your mother's son. While you did these things, I kept silent. And somehow you got the idea that I was like you. Oh, my God. But now my silence ends, says the Lord, and I'm going to indict you. I'll state the charges against you clearly face to face. I don't want to be on the end of that stick. (laughs) You have a lifestyle of lies devoted to deceit. I I just have to say it again. You, You developed a lifestyle of lies devoted to deceit as you speak against others, even slandering those of your own household. All of this you've done, and I kept silent. So you thought that I was just like you, sanctioning evil. But now, I'll bring you to my courtroom and spell out clearly my charges. Let let me tell you, I'm going to read it again, you guys, and let the fear of the Lord be on all of us. This is the Passion Translation, verses 20 and 21. These people, you you developed a lifestyle of lies and devoted to deceit as you speak against others even slandering those of your own. Uh, Listen, we we need to pray. Use this pray. Let it be found out, God. All the people speaking this stuff, all this you have done. And as a living God, I kept silent. So you thought that I was just like you, sanctioning evil. The living God does not sanction evil. I was arrested this afternoon getting this psalm ready. But now... I'm going to bring you to my courtroom. This is not the courtroom of the land of America or New Zealand or Africa. He said, I'll bring you to my courtroom and spell out clearly my charges before you. So Matt's trying to fix the frozenness. I wish I could go back and get all that. Now consider this, you who forget God, lest I tear you in pieces and there be none to deliver. Whoever, whosoever offers praise glorifies me, and to him who orders his conduct aright, I will show the salvation of God. All you who have forgotten me, your God, should think about what I have said, or I will tear you apart and leave no one to save you. Set out a sacrifice I can accept. Your thankfulness. Do this, and you will honor me. Those who straighten up their lives will know the saving grace of God. This is your last chance, my final warning. Your time is up. Turn away from all this evil, or the next time you hear from me will be when I am coming to pass sentence upon you. I will snatch you away, and no one will be there to help you escape my judgment. The life that pleases me is a life lived in the gratitude of grace always choosing to walk with me in what is right. This is the sacrifice I desire from you. If you do this, more of my salvation will unfold for you. Verse 23 again, Whoso offers praise glorifies me. The sacrifice of praising shall honor me. And there is the way wherein I shall show to him the health of God. And to him who orders his conduct aright, I will show the salvation of God. So the new King James, whosoever offers praise, glorify. We're offering praise. 
Stirring it up, man. Woo! Before I leave, Love it. I'd like to read verses 22 and 23 out of the Passion again. Just because it's so applicable right now. Awesome. Get it. I believe God is saying this to America. This is your last chance. My final warning. Your time is up. Turn away from all this evil. Or the next time you hear from me, 
will be when I am coming to pass sentence upon you. I will snatch you away, and no one will be there to help you escape my judgment. The life that pleases me is a life lived in the gratitude of grace, always choosing to walk with me in what is right. This is the sacrifice I desire from you. If you do this, more of my salvation will unfold for you. Yes. We got it, you guys. More of his salvation is unfolding because we're worshipers. We're praisers and we're worshipers. Every breath. I love it so much. So we, we, man, we scouted the land. We went through 23 verses, bro. Whoa. Yeah, after the first month, I, we were doing like, you know, Psalms with eight or 10 or 12 verses. And then I figured, hey, if we can do three apiece, isn't it beautiful? And don't forget about that, uh, the perfection of beauty. There's something about the beauty realm and the, the beauty of the Lord. It's so powerful. And uh, we love you guys. And thank you. Listen. Uh, we've had some breakthrough moments. We had a friend. Uh, she didn't say she wanted to be anonymous, but I won't use her name. She sent $500 people. I, I'm not kidding. I kissed kiss from Ken Henry and the Lord <laughs> and Carla. She said, yeah, put me in there as well. Um, she is super precious to us. We prayed with her through the years, and she's uh, gone the distance. She's a deep believer, <clears throat> a good friend of our secretary, Lynette. And thank you so much, man. I said, I don't know, you know, how that came in, but she's been believing God. So anyway, we're supported by what you send us, and that's why we're still on the streams, dude, and we're not going to give it up. We're, we're planning on going three to five years. What? Is that like a prison sentence? No, it's an assignment from the Lord. There's a big difference, man. This is our assignment to take the Word and narrate it, and the Psalms... And in the words of Jesus, and send it to every nation. And we're well on our way. During the COVID pandemic, I mean, it's starting to cool off now in more places. But we were touching thousands of people, uh, as many as, as, from what I understand, you know, it'd be 15 to 18 to 20 different nations were streaming. There's no way I'll ever be there probably in my lifetime. So everything you give is helping us send the word of God out to every tribe, tongue, and nation. I don't know anybody else doing that, not on a five-day-a-week basis, but I, we really thank you. Thank you for supporting us. And by the way, do not stop praying for us that we just hear the voice of the Lord, that we have the divine wisdom of the Almighty day by day. Uh, the worship barn is coming. I had people, you know, check out and start looking at Phil. We, we still need to get going on that because it's kind of slopes off. But the worship barn, it'd be the new streaming studios for Ken Henry Ministries and Carriage House Ministries. Again, thank I'm personally saying thank you. Month by month, as we've been sponsored and supported by everyday people who love Jesus. Uncle Matt, how you doing? He's been running around. We had a major thunderstorm yeah. come through here and messing with our internet. Yes, I am well, running up and down the stairs, getting my exercise, trying to get uh, get us online. Keep us sorry for the interruptions if there were any, um, but we are so thankful to see you guys online today. This is Psalm 50. Please hit that like and share button for this stream. It's amazing that you guys can help us get this reach out there. It really is important. It really does change things when you do it. So, And as, as you hit those likes and thumbs throughout the thing on Facebook, that really helps the Facebook algorithm the more and more people are liking it sharing it all of that stuff so please do that right now for us if you're on uh, youtube hit that thumbs up if you're on instagram hit the heart it really does help us get this out to as many people as possible and also if you're on instagram make sure you follow us uh, follow us on there we want to keep increasing our followers and the people that that are, are with us online each and every time we're live on instagram right now we're live on uh, facebook and youtube simultaneously so we want to connect with you wherever you are yeah. make sure you let other people know especially your instagram friends you can hit that little airplane and send it out to some new people. We want to be able to connect with more friends. We know that these tech overlords do not love us in, in the least what we're doing, but um, 
We're going to keep doing it no matter what. And uh, we thank you guys for helping to make this all happen financially and out there hitting those likes and shares and, and sharing this with people. It's uh, hugely important. We love it. We're live five days a week. Uh, we want to connect with you if possible. Um, so if you want to help support the stream at chmin.org, you see it on there. Uh, we're always trying to make upgrades and do things to the stream and just keep our monthly budget coming in. We try to raise about $360 per stream. So if you want to do that today, you can click on that um, in the links that are in the description. And you can uh, go to the donations page at chmin.org where you can help support us monthly one time or you can do the 12 campaign all right here on the website. We also have the mail-in that's available. If you want to scroll down on that same page, people have been writing me about the address. The mail-in address is right there on the donations page as well. So check that out if you haven't seen it. There's also a store full of products. Make sure you sign up for your 20% off coupon. There's also ways to give right here in the store. We also have PayPal available. That's paypal.me slash chmin, paypal.me slash chmin if you want to give as a PayPal user. We also have the Facebook fundraiser. We set up new every, each and every month for our budget. So if you're on Facebook, check pinned in your comments and you'll see the uh, Facebook fundraiser. And we also have the stars that are available right here. So check that out right there pinned in, or in the comments. is a little star. You buy a bulk amount. They're worth one cent a piece. You can give whatever you want and support us and other people with those on Facebook. Similar, it's YouTube Super Chat. Right there is a, in the pinned in the comments or in the comments is a little dollar sign where you can give right within YouTube. And lastly, if you're an Amazon user, use the Smile program. Uh, it will greatly help us to reach as many people as possible with your support just through a half percent donation of everything you put in the cart. You have to be on the Smile uh, program to do it. Um, it's the same login, same stuff. You can do it from your phone. You can do it from a website. We want to be supported however we can. Get these videos and get the word of God out, which is hugely important, we feel, in these hours. So we also have text giving that's CHM give to 44321 or the word give 12 in your message box to 44321 and you'll get a link generated and it all will be prompted right there from your phone. So check that out. Uh, let somebody know we will be re-airing this one at 8.30 p.m. tonight. It will fully be there because it's uh, already recorded. So uh, we won't have any interruptions there. So make sure you come on back at 8.30 tonight on Facebook if you're a Facebook friend. And we will see you guys for seeking or for when Worship Wednesday. 7 p.m. tomorrow night from the Gateway House of Prayer. Again, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. We'll see you guys there. Until then, be blessed.